Hi everyone, I'm taking a walk in Massachusetts here. There's a bit of a snowstorm going on and it's making me think about storms and how we weather them. And especially in light of the global storm going on right now with COVID-19 and how we're all affected, I just wanted to share some thoughts about how to stay safe and healthy and most of all sane in this time of worldwide craziness. Um, taking this walk is actually part of my effort to remain sane. If you think about COVID-19 as a storm, it's got a lot of aspects. There's the fact that the virus itself is carried by air and swirls around us or could be swirling around us. So we have to be careful as we go out and we're around people. There's also the swirl of information around us just constantly and overwhelmingly amounts of information that we are bombarded with and need to find a way to manage and cope with and figure out. And then there's the swirl of fear and anxiety about what will happen to each of us and our families and the world around us. So it's quite a storm. And today I'm thinking about how do we stay sane in the midst of a storm? What comes to mind is a few things, but basically we need to become the center of our own storm. We need to become the eye of the storm where the calm is. And if we can each focus on what makes us calm inside and safe and secure and grounded inside, we can be there for ourselves and for everybody else and keep things moving at a sane pace. So how do we do that? How do we become the eye of our own storm. And uh, there's a couple things I want to share with you there. I'll try to keep it simple so it'll just be easy to remember. First of all, we need to stay focused and connected to ourselves. So what does that mean? That means do the things that keep you feeling safe and calm and secure and centered in your own mind. For me, it's things like taking this walk, even though it's snowing out, and breathing some fresh air and getting some exercise, that helps me get connected to myself. And then there's ideas like meditation or quiet time. I, uh, I do that as well to just slow down the thoughts and stay focused on calming, calming ideas. So quiet time, meditation, that's another idea. Everybody has their own ways of getting connected and grounded for themselves. And I encourage you to think about doing that for yourself to become the eye of the storm for yourself. Uh, another thing that we need to do is detach from the swirl of information around us. It's overwhelming. There's a lot of it. And we do need to know enough to stay safe and to keep ourselves protected and our families and help other people stay safe and protected. So take what you like and leave the rest. Some people I know are taking a, a news uh, vacation and, you know, just think about what helps you absorb the information you need, but let go of too much information. So I like to be informed. I like to know what we're dealing with here. Um, and I try to understand that without getting too caught up, too overwhelmed by the massive amounts of information. And, um, you know, so that's, that's one thing is detach from too much information that can help you stay grounded, connected, calm, and in the center of your own storm, become the eye of the storm. And another, the third idea I want to share with you about this is staying connected to other people and community and connection, um, is a way of connecting with ourselves, our, our community, our calm. So um, talking to other people, of course, we're all learning more and more about online digital ways of communicating and maximizing the use of that, which is great. Um, so much is moving online and we're so lucky that we have that option. So staying connected to people is a way of calming ourselves, uh, as long as we use those conversations to focus on um, what keeps us calm and not what makes us crazy. 
So those are my suggestions for becoming the eye of your own storm. Get grounded and connected to yourself. Detach from the massive amounts of information that make us anxious and nervous and get connected and centered with your community. So that's what I have to share today on this snowy day in Massachusetts. Hope, hope you're doing well and we'll talk soon.